Oh my god! Dude, that was really good. What's up guys? This is Join to My Dad here, and today we are playing some more with Cosmo. Yeah, we're gonna try to do some tongue twisters and make him mess up. But before we do that, we're gonna play one round of memory match. And they added in solo mode. What is solo? So I guess you just play against yourself without him. Just try it, see what it is. I don't know. It's, I, it's just regular it's just without solo? him. Cosmo just without is getting him. ready. He'll just sit there. He'll just see, sit there? Look. In just by yourself. Oh, uh, okay, so let's exit out of that. Play Cosmo once. Do it. Alright, let's see. Let's see what Cosmo does. This is fun. I love Simon. And the sounds are good, too. I'm telling you, dude, he's way better than we think. Alright, here we go. All right, let's see. Watch. He's gonna mess up on purpose. He's not gonna mess up. If he does, he's letting us win. See? Come he on. let us win. Of course he did. He's being nice. I'm telling you, dude. I'm playing quick tap. He's so fast. I couldn't even react how fast he was tapping it when the colors were right. He was so fast. All right. I'm using your nails. Let me use the dudes our fingers and tap. Nails working. Hang on. He did it on purpose. He's letting you in. I'm telling you, he's letting you in. All right, well, we're gonna after this round, we're gonna. Uh, he let us in. I know he did. Look, he's pretending. Deep inside, he's laughing. He's like. So ah. if if you want to play a long game, you play against yourself. Well, yeah, we'll have to try that offhand. See how many you can get up to, like 30. Can you get to like 20 or 30 or something like that? Well, anyway, let's get into the uh, words here. So the thought process was, what is he doing? The thought process was, <laughs> he's just goofing around. Let me get a little light on in here. All right, so we're going to present a whole bunch of words to Cosmo, and we're going to see how he says them. First up, let's try Sebastian. Let's see how he says your brother's name. Because Sebi, we know he can do. Let's see if he can do Sebastian. Right, here we go. Yep, let me turn him so he can face us. Go ahead. That was pretty good. I think he did pretty good, don't you? Mm -hmm, that was pretty good. All right, next up, let's try spaghetti. <laughs> oh, jeez. I spelled it wrong. You can't even spell it. Come on, it's right here. What do you think he's going to say? He's going to say spag head. Okay, here we go. Oh, my God. Dude, that was really good. All right, let's try this one. How do, what do you think he's going to say for xylophone? What do you think? Oh my god. Dude, he's really... It's not even... They've programmed him to understand, like, strings of letters and stuff like that. Alright, try barbecue. There's no way he's going to get barbecue. This is amazing. Oh, he's better than us. Alright, here, try to pronounce this word. And then more? No, it's an N at the end. I'm sorry. Anem Anem <laughs> Anemone. Anemone. It's one of the tongue to Anemone. Go ahead. <laughs> well, all right, we got him. M &M. Finally. He's I like, think, wait, did he see Eminem? <laughs> he couldn't say. All right, so we're going to have him say hors d'oeuvres. Whores de vores. That's what people call it. Dude, that's what people say. Whores de vores. Good. Can you do it? Uh, you already deleted it? Yeah. All right. This is really hard. Can you pronounce this word? Autolaryngologist? Autolaryngologist. I don't know if this is going to fit. It is. It's 30 letters. You're allowed to have 30 letters, and he'll say whatever you want in 30 letters. So he can do that. So I think we can do it. Autolaryngologist. Autolaryngologist. Okay, here we go. That's not bad. That's an ear, nose, and throat doctor, just so you know. Ear, nose, and throat. All right, let's try. The people at Anki who invented this awesome robot, they're entrepreneurs. So we got to try the word entrepreneur, which is another hard word. I did look up really hard words to say, and that was one of the harder ones out there. And let's see if he can say okay. entre entrepreneur. Yep. All right, this is entrepreneur. Entrepreneur. That's not bad. Not bad. All right. The most famous movie of all. Mary Poppins. What's the word? Can you say it? Let me hear you say it. I can't say it. Yes, you can. 
The movie it's you more watch than it. Enough Super califragilisticexpialidocious. Yes, it's like thirty-four Super? letters. So let's break it okay, up. Okay, how do I spell this? S U P E R C A L I I F R A G A G F R A A G A G I L I S T I C I S T I C. We'll break it up. Super califragilistic. Nice. Now let's do expialidocious. And I'll string it together afterwards. Awesome. So I'm going to string it together. Supercalifragilisticexpialidocious. String together. Here you go, Cosmo. Let's hear how you do it. All right, so I'm gonna stump Julian and Cosmo. Which, which wristwatches are Swiss wristwatches? <laughs> Again, faster. Which wristwatches are Swiss wristwatches? <laughs> no, really, say it. Go on. Which wristwatches are Swiss wristwatches? <laughs> you can't say it. It's like one of the hardest things to say. Which wristwatches are Swiss wrist? Ri I can't do it. Okay. I give up already. You ready? Cosmo, yeah, do it. Go. All right, so which wrist watches are Swiss rich watches? She I says it say. just normal. I had to string it together with the last word because 30 letters and stuff like that. So last one, go ahead, join. A blessing in disguise. And a lot of people hear it differently. They hear it as a blessing in the skies. Hear it. A blessing in disguise. Or a blessing in the skies, like the sky up in the air. It's a blessing in disguise. Let's hear it. A blessing in disguise. <laughs> Did you hear it right? Let's try the other one. In the skies? Okay, a blessing in the skies. And then we'll wrap her up. Hey guys, so while you're while we're waiting for this, we're thinking of like a oh, here he goes. In the sky. Almost the same exact thing. Let's listen to them together. Alright, Cosmo's a few words. Nice. So Cosmo is saying that he wants you to put some questions down below in the comment section. And in an upcoming video, he's going to answer them for you. So it's not ask us, it's ask Cosmo. Ask Cosmo anything you want, and he'll come up with some silly, truthful, fun, whatever answer he wants, right? Yeah. See? He's already thinking about it. Right, Cosmo? We hope you enjoyed the video. Leave a like, subscribe, do all that good stuff. Join. We'll see you guys next time. Bye. Later, guys.